as a you know black gay man, um, you know, uh, living in a black community, that you know there's a a lot of um, I mean, there's a, a lot of mistrust of you know the police and state institutions as such, um, or or institutions that increasingly over the years have become more punitive and tied to the police. Right? Like, I mean, our whole kind of social safety network has become from adoption and foster care to welfare to everything is so tied to policing and surveillance at this point and yeah. punitive. Uh, uh, you know, it's the prison industrial complex, right? So there's, so because of that, um, it certainly makes um, challenging, and I'll speak from, you know, position, I mean, somebody who, uh, who, you know, survived, like, homophobic violence, right? Like, um, I'm still clear that, like, in one moment where people, you know, may view me, uh, you know, as a faggot or this or that, whatever, and have had various, you know, moments with folks in places where I've lived. Um, but I'm also clear that, like, outside of that moment, I'm also just as likely to get pulled over and stopped and harassed and do by the NYPD, right? So if that is supposed to be the place that I go, so all of a sudden I'm gay in that context where I'm supposed to go to the cops for, you know, safety but because of "Quote unquote hate crimes," but but uh, you know, but then you know, as soon as I'm black to them, right? Like that—that's out the window. 